Falcon 9 is configured for flight. The rocket SpaceX launched Thursday made history because it was old. The Falcon 9 contains the first rocket booster ever to go up, come down, and go up again. Five, four, three, two, one. It's, it's really a, a great day, not just for, for SpaceX, but for the space industry as a whole, and, and proving that something can be done that many people said was impossible. So what you saw Under the direction of billionaire the, entrepreneur uh, Elon Musk, the rocket released its booster about two minutes into the flight, sending the booster back toward Earth to be reused yet again. It's the difference between uh, if you had airplanes where you, you threw away an airplane after every flight versus you could reuse them multiple times. This will be good for all sorts of, for um, private investors and private entities, pe people that want to go into space themselves that don't want to have to do it as part of, of a, say, government mission. Then came the final critical moment of this part of the mission, safely landing the returned booster. The first stage on its way back to the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean, slowing down as it heads for the atmosphere. An unmanned landing pad floating in the Atlantic Ocean awaited the rocket's descent. SpaceX's cameras failed during the critical moment of contact, but as SpaceX's announcers looked on, confirmation came that the landing was successful, replicating this landing from a past launch. Came back and landed on the drone ship uh, right in the bullseye. Uh, it's an amazing day, I think, for space uh, as a whole, for the, sp for the space industry. This is going to be ultimately a, a huge revolution in space flight. A revolution that takes people closer to living on Mars, Musk says. He hopes to use this technology to get humans to the red planet in the next 10 years. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera.